welcome to this video tutorial about liquids and hydraulics. Mechanical comprehension exams often require you to have a basic knowledge of liquids and how they are harnessed in order to produce mechanical systems like hydraulics. There are some basic rules of physics that you need to know, although these are simplified because tests don't usually require you to know the minute details. First, liquids are incompressible. Second, liquids always conform to their containers. Third, an enclosed liquid, when pressure is applied, equally distributes that pressure. Another thing to know is the equation for pressure. Most simply, pressure is equal to force over area. For water specifically, there is about 0.43 pounds of pressure per square inch for every foot of water depth. Thus, the amount of pressure at the bottom of a 12-foot pool is approximately 5.2 pounds per square inch. Given the rules above, and what we know about pressure, let's look at a few examples. Here is one that displays the basic function of a hydraulic system. On one side is a vat of liquid, which is connected by a hose to another vat. If the left vat is pressurized to move the liquid down one inch, how much will the water level in the other vat rise, assuming they are the same size? Because of the rules that we mentioned before, especially because pressure applied to an enclosed liquid is equally distributed, when the liquid on the left vat is pressed down one inch, the water level on the right vat will rise exactly one inch. Another example. Here are two vats again. The left one is half the size of the one on the right. In this case, if the pump on the left moves down two inches, the one on the right will move up one inch. That's because the mechanical advantage is such that only half the force needs to be used on the left, but it needs to be pushed twice as far. Let's try another practice problem. Imagine a diver is practicing diving in the bottom of a diving pool, which has a depth of 20 feet. Where is the water pressure greatest? Where the diver is? Halfway between the bottom and the surface? It does not matter, because water pressure is always equal. The answer is A, because water pressure increases by 0.43 pounds per foot, if you remember. B is wrong because the surface has almost no pressure relative to the depth of 20 feet. C is wrong because water only equally distributes pressure when it's in an enclosed and pressurized space, like a hydraulic tube. One more practice problem. Two identical enclosed containers of liquid are connected by a pipe. If one side receives 12 pounds of force, how much will the other side receive due to the connecting pipe? A, one pound. B, six pounds. C, 12 pounds. D, unknown. The answer is C, because the containers are equal in size and are pressurized, so therefore they will distribute weight equally. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. 